Hey guys, Nicholas Shrada, one half of the Shrada Brothers, Berkshire Hathaway Results Realty. Over the past two weeks, I've been putting the call out, asking for people to submit videos, letting me know what they are doing to remain energized, to be productive, just providing an overall valuable tips for people to make sure that quarantine doesn't get the best of you. I had some great responses. The videos that follow will show you the responses that I received. Enjoy. What's up, everybody? I just want to give you a quick tip right now of things that you could be doing while you are now quarantined and staying at home uh, to protect yourself and remain safe. But, you know, we have a lot more time on our hands now. So some things that you could be doing is I challenge you to sit down, taking 30 minutes to an hour to self-reflect. Think about the things that you're passionate about and write them down. And once you have those written down, think about ways that you can bring those to fruition. How can you make this come to life? Whether that's you know hopping on Wix, Squarespace, or Weebly and building a website for that business or that side hustle. Whether that's you know starting a podcast, you could download the Anchor app and and begin immediately. Whether that's writing a blog, whether that's uh, you know getting the things necessary to start that side hustle to to start giving your passion uh, a little bit more effort. So take 30 minutes to an hour right now today. Write your passions down and see what the next steps would be to make them come to life. Hey Nick, mom here, just uh, shooting you a video, letting you know a few of the things that I'm doing during lockdown time here. Sitting in my birdcage, having a glass of wine, enjoying the outside view, pulling some weeds in my yard. It's never been more free of weeds uh, since I've been here. So um, also taking in a few good movies, just uh, kind of enjoying the peace, the quiet, and um, hoping all is well, safe, and um, everybody's good. Thanks. Hey everyone, this is Corey with Dippity. Um, Nick and Justin wanted me to give one tip that has really helped me during self-quarantine and something that keeps me motivated. And for me, that's not necessarily the easiest answer because I have a lot of things that I need to stay motivated. But if I had to quantify how to get the thoughts from my head, from the things that I want to get accomplished, it's something like this that I work on every day. It's a whiteboard that I keep desk side and I set my goals at the beginning of the month. So the first of the month, first of April, I wrote down everything that I wanted to accomplish from a business standpoint, but also from a physical and workout standpoint. So for instance, for this month, I wanted to lose five pounds, get somewhat of a summer body right where I want it. So by that, I have a workout regimen that I do each day. And then when I approach the day, I cross it off. So it kind of helps me keep accountable. Uh, it allows me to go outside and do a couple things, a jump rope, run, and then it lets me sit at my desk by 7.30 and get after it for business. So keeps me motivated, uh, allows me to set dates and goals because whenever this quarantine and this coronavirus is officially over, uh, I have the things that I want to get done right when that happens. So uh, for instance, I like to save money. I want to save money for whenever the beach is open again and go stay on vacation. So it allows me to just allow me to get my goals in place day by day. So I hope this tip helps you and you all have a fantastic afternoon. Bye bye. What's up, everybody? Just wanted to give a quick update uh, during quarantine. I've uh, been spending a lot of time outside walking, uh, walking with the dog, laying on the front porch, as you guys know, a lot of you know anyway. Uh, she recently had a pretty pretty hefty surgery. Um, put a, Got a plate put in her leg, uh, but seems to be doing really well. So working on that physical therapy, uh, staying positive and, and living life. See if I can actually get her to look at the, uh... come on, look, look. There you go, who doesn't love that face? See you guys. Nick asked me to shoot a video and who can say no to the award-winning Shrouder Brothers? I certainly don't want to be famous and I'm not a teenager familiar with making TikTok videos, therefore this is outside my comfort zone. But what am I doing right now? I think the key is staying connected. I'm staying connected with my friends, my family, my coworkers, and my colleagues. This is an unprecedented time and yet a unique opportunity also to reconnect, reconnecting with those individuals that I haven't spoken to in a while. So staying connected with those closest to me and also reconnecting are key. The other thing I'm doing is I'm working hard for the association. We want our members to know there's value in their membership and we've added some online courses. If you're staying at home, 
which you should be during this time, this is a great opportunity to take advantage of online education. There are also a lot of resources out there at the local, the state, and the national level. And we are working hard to provide that information to our members because that information could be key to helping with your business. So those are the things that I'm doing right now to stay positive. There's a saying that says, it doesn't matter what happens to you, but how you react to it. And I truly believe that during this challenging time. So stay positive, stay well, and take care. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Jay from Granny Southern Smokehouse. I hope you all are doing great out there. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no, no. I really appreciate it. I really do. So I hope you all are staying safe. We are here for our regular business hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 8. Sundays, 12 to 6. Mondays, we are closed. We do offer delivery through Uber and Grubhub. So if you do not feel like leaving the house, you don't have to because we'll bring it to you. And if you need takeout, you can call ahead 407-593-4BBQ, all right? So I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Our address is 818 Pennsylvania Avenue, St. Cloud, Florida, 34769. So I hope you all are taking this thing very seriously. And make sure when you go out, make sure you all wear your mask. It's time for me to go to the store. So I'm about to put my mask on so I can stay safe, all right? Peace. And if you haven't watched The Tiger King, it's a great thing to watch during these difficult times. All right, see y'all later. Hey guys, April here, uh, one half of the uh, Nicholas Schrouder uh, household. Um, I am currently in my quarantine headquarters, AKA the backyard. Um, just wanted to go over just um, some things that have, people have struggled with a little bit uh, during uh, the uh, quarantine and this time. Um, a lot of people have been um, trying to file for unemployment. Uh, I myself have only been successful one time um, in using the website. Uh, I know there's been long lines. Um, people have taken up to three hours waiting for phone calls to call back. Um, there are ways around that. Um, there are a handful of jobs that are essential uh, right now uh, they, that are hiring temporary employees. Um, so therefore what I've done is I've gone online um, and tried to fill out applications in hopes of getting one of these temporary jobs. Um, so this is an option instead of trying to overload the uh, unemployment site. Um, also, I mean, there's, there's plenty of other options instead of wasting your time. You can be working from home, creating websites. I mean, some of our most well-known websites were created during times like this. Um, who knows, you could create the next uh, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, anything like that from your home. Um, so there are options uh, out there in order to find work instead of just sitting around, um, you know, uh, playing video games or just eating all your quarantine snacks. Um, so you just gotta uh, put yourself out there and try and find options that suit you best. Um, so everybody, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, and Carol Baskin's killed her husband. First of all, I wanna say a big thank you to each and every one of those that did submit tips. Uh, we're gonna try and keep this going over the next couple weeks since we do have some more time that we are on our stay at home orders. Um, as far as myself, just wanted to add a few things. Other than not shaving and seeing how long my hair will grow, I have been extremely busy trying to put together valuable content for my business um, and just for myself trying to educate myself knowing that when we get to the other side of this, there's going to be so much opportunity. And I didn't want, I want to make sure that I didn't squander this time. I want to make sure that I use it to the best of my ability. So again, working out daily, making sure that keeping your body healthy, keep that immune system up, we all know why. And again, just keeping myself busy with so many, so many things that don't involve necessarily sitting in front of the TV all the time. Um, yeah, I'm catching, catching up on some stuff, but that's not the only thing I'm doing. I'm staying busy, I'm staying positive, I'm being productive, and I hope you are too. Guys, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. And then as always, you can check out uh, mine and Justin's website, liveflowlife.com. Hope you're doing well. Wash your hands. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.